robots taking over hospitals, machines replacing doctors, cold metal arms holding patients and making life or death decisions. That's fear, it's older than actual robotics. But here is the truth. The Moravec paradox. Hans Moravec was an Austrian scientist and he's pronounced Moravec, not Moravec. Tells us that what's easy for a doctor, like holding a patient's hand, is hard for a robot. And what's hard for humans, like calculating millions of variables in real time, is often easy for machines. So no, robots won't replace physicians, but they are becoming our colleagues. So what is a robot in medicine? It's not artificial intelligence. It's not ChatGPT the lab code. A robot is a physical actuator, a machine that carries out tasks based on instructions from a program or algorithm. Think of AI as the brain and the robot as the body. Most robots in healthcare today aren't intelligent. They don't think, they act. And that's more than enough to transform healthcare. Here are 10 real-world roles medical robots are already taking on or will be very soon. First, robotic nurses. Researchers at Imperial College London developed a two-armed robot that can dress a patient, one of the most delicate tasks in patient care. It's part of a wave of research aimed at supporting daily tasks like bathing or lifting patients, tasks that are physically demanding and emotionally taxing for caregivers. They cannot do everything, but can ease the physical burden on nurses. Second, surgical robots. The Da Vinci surgical system has been around for about 25 years, offering precision that human hands cannot match. With high-definition 3D cameras and tiny wristed instruments, it allows surgeons to perform minimally invasive procedures with unprecedented accuracy. And now the field is expanding. Pediatric surgeries, new FDA approvals and a market projected to reach nearly $15 billion by 2027. Third, blood drawing robots. Autonomous systems like Vitestro's blood drawing device have already completed thousands of blood draws in clinical trials. They have started a large-scale clinical trial now involving 10,000 patients. Patients soon need to get used to being handled by a robot with precision needles. Fourth, remote presence and social interaction. In Canada and Ireland, Robots like Ludwig and Stevie or Stewie support elderly care by offering companionships, uh, daily checks and virtual presence for caregivers. They don't replace human care, they just supplement it when human hands are scarce. Fifth, telemedical robots. In rural areas, when no doctors nearby, telemedicine systems allow clinicians to examine patients remotely. It's not just a video call. It's a network of diagnostic tools and a robotic interface that make virtual care safer and more effective. Sixth, exoskeletons. They don't act independently, but they enable patients with spinal injuries or stroke to walk again. From exobionics to life ward, the industry is moving fast. And today, exoskeletons are being reimbursed in the US, showing their growing role in real-world care. Seventh, robots in the pharmaceutical supply chain. They move heavy boxes, prepare medications, and optimize inventory in the factories of pharma companies. At pharmacies, with the right data, these systems help pharmacies spend less time sorting and more time with patients. These robots can work in environments where human beings couldn't even survive. Eight, hospital robots. UVC robots can disinfect a hospital room in 15 minutes. Companies like UVD robots and Xenex build systems that destroy bacteria and viruses on surfaces and in the air, helping to prevent hospital-acquired infections, one of the most dangerous risks in modern care. Mobile robots also deliver medications, lab samples, or heavy equipment, freeing up nurses to focus on care. And when they are done, they return to charge no break needed. Ninth, nanorobots. This one still feels like science fiction, but it's coming closer. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute build tiny, scallop-like bots that can swim through blood or mucus even on the surface of the eye, delivering drugs precisely where needed. We are not quite there yet, but the technology is advancing fast. And tenth, social companion robots. From therapy seals like Paro to humanoid companions like Buddy, these robots help reduce loneliness, remind patients to take medications, and even provide educational support. The commercial success has been mixed so far, but the need is clear, especially in elderly care. So what should we make of all this? Yes, robots in medicine will keep growing, 
in form, in function, in responsibility. But this doesn't mean losing the human touch. In fact, it's about preserving it by offloading the monotonous, repetitive or physically exhausting tasks to machines. We let doctors and nurses do what only humans can – connect, care and heal. The key is to stay transformed, not to fear the rise of the robot, but to shape it. Because the future of healthcare won't be machine versus human, it will be machine with human. And that future has already begun. As always, stay curious, safe and keep shaping the future. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.